Hi, my name is Brad Neal with the University of Indianapolis, and I'd like to work with you on the question that's up here on the screen. So this is a fairly standard kind of quantum number question. Um, please make sure that you have watched the uh, quantum mechanical model of the atom part two in order for this question to make more sense. Let's begin. Give the maximum number of electrons in an atom that can have the following quantum numbers. So each of these dots is going to be its own individual question. So let's do this thing. So if we've got ourselves a situation where we have n equals 2, we know that L could theoretically equal either 1 or 0. We know that because the rules for L are L equals n minus 1 all the way through the number 0. That thing is supposed to be an arrow. Specifically, though, the problem is telling us L is equal to 1. It makes our lives a little easier. So how does that make our lives easier? When we now have our m sub L values, we can have an m sub value, L value equaling negative 1, 0, and 1. Now, these are the number of subshells that we have. So L being 1 would say that we have a p orbital, right? L equals 1 means a p orbital. So specifically, this is a 2p subshell that we're talking about. And the number of subshells we're going to have here are 1, 2, and 3 more information than what you're looking for, but it's really good to go over. This is where m sub s comes into play. And I'm gonna write out m sub s, kind of weird, and I'm gonna write it out up here. And that's because with our m sub s value, we can have m sub s always equaling one half or negative one half. And specifically, every single one of our individual uh, orbitals so the negative 1, the 0, and the 1, every single one of them can have an m sub s value equaling 1 half or negative 1 half. The 1 can have 1 half or a negative 1 half. Great! So now we have all of our possible m sub s values. Well, that spin quantum number, that's actually going to tell us the number of electrons that we have. Because if you remember, each set of quantum numbers, we have to have four quantum numbers for every single electron. So what I've got highlighted right now would be one electron has a n equals two, l equals one, m sub l equals negative one, and then we can have m sub s equal positive one half. We could, though, take that 2, 1, negative 1, so that n equals 2, l equals 1, m sub l equals negative 1, and we could have negative 1 half. That's two separate sets of quantum numbers. So to write that out, we could have n as 2, we could have l as 1, we could have m sub l as negative 1, and we can have m sub s as 1 half, or we could have 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1 half. And this and this are going to correspond to one electron apiece. So right now, with what we've got highlighted in blue, we have a possibility of having two electrons. But didn't we say with this section right here, m sub l could equal zero, one, or negative one? Yeah, we did. So we need to come over here and take into consideration the other four possibilities. So we could have two, zero, or I'm sorry, two, not zero there, two, one, zero, one half, two, one, zero, negative one half. And each one of these are going to be their own individual electron. We could have two, one, one, one half, two, one, one, 
negative one half. And these are all gonna be an electron apiece. So if we count this up now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six possible electrons that can start with n equals, let's go to green, n equals two and l equals one. I'm going to leave it to you to try out the next example here, this n equals three, l equals two. And if you want to be really good and test to make sure you know what you can what you're doing using n equals three l equals two go ahead and try to give it out that uh shell designation in this capacity uh the cell shell and the subshell so n is equal to three cool what letter designation should we give if l is equal to two and then how many possible orbitals can we have if l is equal to two hopefully that example makes sense uh please let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching